da 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 inspect apartments da 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 do do Should I get an inspection or do I not need one? If you're moving into a big building, the truth of the matter is you probably don't need one because you don't own what's inside the walls in Vancouver. So if anything structural is going on or there's any sort of big expenses with the roof or with the boiler or with the gym or whatever, it's for the entire building to split that expense and it's going to come to you via a very small assessment. If you're moving into a small building, say 30 units or less, it could actually be very expensive because if there's only 30 people to split the price of whatever needs to be repaired or fixed, that could be a huge bill and it's worth the four or 500 bucks to have an inspector come and let you know if the roof's about to go or the boiler's about to go. Speaking of which, I've got to go.